I'd now like to introduce our next speaker, who comes from, from a country which uh, embraced this issue and actually had perhaps one of the greenest fiscal stimulus packages of all uh, to help redirect its economy and embrace the future. Uh, Dr. Sung Soo Han uh, is the former Prime Minister of the Republic of, Kier, of Korea, was actually a former ambassador to the US as well, uh, of his many positions, and he's now the new chairman of the Global Green Growth Institute, and I'm sure he'll tell us a few words about that, but I think it's a very promising initiative that's going to be working to actually help countries and regions get on track for the low-carbon economy. Dr. Han. Excellencies, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, if I knew that I could get a such a resounding cheers from you, I would not have turned off my cell phone either. <laughs> Our home, the only and one Earth, is suffering from climate change induced by its own inhabitants. Ahead of us is one of the most critical and urgent agenda of the 21st century. If left unaddressed, Climate change will eclipse all other challenges. We are gathered here today to declare our support for collective action to meet the far-reaching effects of climate change. With less than 70 days before Cancun, I strongly hope that we can make the best of New York City Climate Week to mobilize that much needed momentum to achieve our ambition. At the height of industrial modernization, the world we live in is slipping toward a global climate catastrophe. There is no choice but for the global society to adapt to the effects of climate change. We must unlock our potential to promote technological innovations and behavioral changes aimed at delivering carbon, low carbon future. Some remarkable changes are already taking place all over the world. While there is no silver bullet to dealing with climate change, I am heartened to see a broad coalition from all sectors of society striving to achieve low carbon green growth within their own respective realms. Being New York, I am thoroughly inspired by the forward-looking vision that aims to make New York greener and healthier by reducing the city's greenhouse gas emissions by 30%. This commitment will change the way New Yorkers think about their city in the larger context of global climate change. This is exactly what Korea has been doing and seeking through the new national vision of low carbon green growth. On this, I am going to speak to you tomorrow in more detail. Every day, capitals, nations, local governments and regions announce their renewed commitment to green growth. Frameworks are designed, strategies are developed and billions of dollars are invested in green technologies. Ladies and gentlemen, I am deeply encouraged by today's gathering of pioneer, pioneers, strategists and experts from all over the world. If the future designers of the global economy and indeed of human life as you yourselves are united by the conviction that viable solutions are on the way, a greener, brighter and healthier future awaits us. Let me express my, my express, express my sincere thanks to the City of New York and all those heavily involved in preparing for this event. Climate Week New York City has already done much to raise awareness of the pressing climate change. I am hopeful that cl critical climate actions will follow as the weeks roll out. A challenge always seems impossible to overcome until it is done. Therefore, as we chart our path toward a more sustainable future, let us dream big. Thank you.